Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm in the Leisure Travel Van and not in my office. We're about to take an overnight little RV trip, take the dogs and just enjoy the Leisure Travel Van. Now, if you're watching last week, you saw why I said it was 100% the correct decision to buy a Unity over a Wonder. And of course, I'm in a Unity, so I'm a tad bit biased, but today we're all gonna be talking about why it's 100% the right decision to forgo the Unity and jump into a Wonder. So I'm gonna give you the five reasons why buying the Wonder is 100% the right thing to do over buying a Unity. And so we're gonna do that right now. All right, the very first thing that we're gonna talk about why it's better to buy a Wonder over a Unity are just some of the small things. That, um, that Ford adds that Mercedes doesn't. And that first thing is going to be TPMS. That's right, tire pressure monitoring system. It seems like such a, you know, such an elementary thing to do these days in automobiles. Well, the Ford has it and the Mercedes does not. So that means if you got a wonder, you can look right in your center console and you can check on the status of your tire pressure. That's a huge deal when you're talking about such a heavy, heavy vehicle, because one of the biggest dangers of RVing is a tire blowout. And so tire maintenance and, and knowing what uh, pressure your tire is at and even the temperature is an extremely, extremely important thing. Why the Mercedes doesn't put it on the Sprinter, I don't know. Now there are several aftermarket systems that you can get. In fact, I'll be reviewing one uh, coming up. Tireminder sent me something to look at. So we'll be installing that on this Unity soon. And so we'll do a complete update over that. But if it can just come stock from the factory that way, isn't that better? Yeah. So that is the number one reason why it's smarter to buy a Wonder over a Unity. All right, reason number Two, it's going to be a floor plan selection that includes some incredible, incredible options like a bike garage. Yes, that uh, Wonder rear twin bed has a bike garage. It is almost unheard of to have that kind of storage and that ability to store bikes inside of your RV in a 25 foot coach. This is going to be an incredible, incredible um, uh, luxury for somebody who is into biking or who carries a lot of stuff around with them. And so that bike garage, it's completely weather sealed. It is completely enclosed. It is a wonderful, wonderful addition to leisure travel vans. Something that, like I said, not too many um, small RVs even thinks about offering, right? Here in our Unity, we have incredibly small outdoor storage, which isn't a huge deal to me. I don't like carrying around a lot of stuff. Most of the time people load their RV up with stuff that they never even use. And so we have a, you know, pretty minimalistic approach to RVing. We just carry the, the uh, absolute necessities. And so that way is, you know, outdoor storage isn't as big of a deal to me. Now, if it's a big deal to you, I think that out, outdoor bike storage in that uh, Wonder rear twin bed is perfect for if you want to carry around a solo stove, which is impossible in a rig like mine, in a Unity. Um, if you want to carry bikes, obviously, or if you want to carry even full-size tables, anything like that that you want to do, you can be able to do that with that floor plan. Now, again, the Wonder does not offer any slide options. The Unity has three models that have a slide. I personally like the slide. That's mine right back there, if you can see it. I love a slide because it just really opens up the RV. Again, the downside to that is it could you know, break and then what are you gonna do then if you're out in the middle of nowhere, right? And so the Wonder has no slide options and so pretty easy to do. Now they have the rear lounge that competes with the Unity rear lounge. Um, and so, I, like I said earlier, man, the Wonder and the Unity have gone from this far apart to really this far apart in several areas. And so floor plans, that is reason number two to get a Wonder over Unity. All right, reason number three that you might want a wonder over a Unity, and that is gonna be all-wheel drive. That's right, Ford actually introduced all-wheel drive last year, I believe it was last year, in their Transit chassis, and now Leisure Travel Van offers that as well. And so if you are somebody who really likes to get out in the sticks, 
this is going to be a great option for you. Now keep in mind, it is not a four x four. It is not intended to go off-roading and different things like that. You're not gonna wanna take your six-figure RV, you know, four by fouring, I wouldn't think anyway. So, but it is going to be all-wheel drive. That means it's gonna help you with traction, getting out of some mud, or if you're on a, on a, a gravel road, you know, things like that. Also, if you like to winter camp, you know, winter camping is uh, can be done in a leisure travel van. Uh, need some preparation. You need to winterize your coach, not carry any water in your tanks, and and not use, you know, your your gray tanks or anything like that. Now you can use antifreeze to flush your toilet, so that's completely fine. So yes, you can winter camp in a leisure travel van. And if you're going to do that, then the all-wheel drive wonder is the definitely the model that you're going to want to look at. And so. The, the Unity does not offer that. Sprinter chassis absolutely does not offer that. So the Transit chassis is the only leisure travel van that you can get, meaning a wonder to have all wheel drive. All right, reason number four is a big one, and that is your powertrain. Like I said, the Unity, the one I'm in, the Sprinter chassis, it has a diesel engine. Of course, I'm a big fan of diesel engines. They last forever almost anyway. Um, a lot of people are probably gonna put in the comments that they totally disagree with that. Um, but I'm a big fan of the diesel engine, gonna get you a lot better gas mileage. So the Transit chassis switched over to a gas, I think it's a, a EcoBoost engine, um, which is decent on gas mileage, but it is not as good as the Unity. Now then, why is it better then to get a gas engine over a diesel engine? Well, a couple of things. One, gas is just available absolutely everywhere, obviously. Um, diesel, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna be able to find diesel, but you may not be able to in the one time that you actually need it. Now then, maintenance is going to be a lot less than the Sprinter chassis. You know, the Mercedes is known for being expensive, especially with maintenance. Now, there are cheaper ways to do it. You don't absolutely have to take it to a Mercedes um, service uh, uh, dealer in order to get it worked on. But if you do, yes, that price is going to be up there, right? So whenever you're looking at maintaining that Ford gas engine, definitely going to be cheaper no matter which way you go about it, whether it's a dealer or if it's an independent. Uh, just, you know, if you do take an independent, make sure that they are, they are uh, qualified to do so, that, it, um, that your warranty is not going to be affected as well. And so definitely you are going to get cheaper maintenance, but that's trade off because you're going to be paying higher fuel charges with, you know, because you have a lower MPG. But again, maintenance is going to be much easier, much cheaper, and the power that that, um, Ford gas engine has, I hear it is like phenomenal. Much better than the Sprinter that I'm sitting in right now. So if you want power, if you want easy maintenance and cheap maintenance, definitely the Wonder is the way to go over the Unity. Okay, we are at five. Reason number five, and it's probably one of the biggest motivating factors to get a Wonder over a Unity, and that of course is price. So yes, the price is a major difference and uh, I don't have it in front of me, so I'm going to list it right here. And so price is going to be a major factor, especially now that the Ford has the gas engine, the all wheel drive, the uh, TPMS, many of the things that you just absolutely cannot get on the Sprinter chassis, yet the Sprinter and the Unity are head and shoulders above in price. I think this is why the Wonder has suddenly turned to be, you know, one of the most popular uh, models of a leisure travel van. I think the Unity held that title for, for many, many years. I'd love, in fact, I'm probably gonna reach out to, to LTV Marketing soon and find out, is the has the Wonder surpassed the Unity in orders? That would be something very interesting to know. Now then, also with that Wonder Rear Lounge, which rivals the Unity Rear Lounge, because I think the Unity Rear Lounge is now LTV's um, most popular floor plan. So if you can get the Wonder Rear, uh, rear Lounge, uh, get that gas engine, the all-wheel drive, cheaper? Why not, right? 
And so, plus that rear lounge actually has a better window placement. It's on the campsite in the back part of that lounge. Whereas the Unity, it is on the non-camp side. And so, no big deal if you're at a lake all by yourself, but if you're in a campground, well, you're definitely gonna be, you know, just staring right at the side of another RV, right? And so, that is a huge reason why you should choose a Wonder over a Unity, and that is going to be the price. So then, I hope this helped, and again, these are my opinions. I have never actually, you know, owned a Wonder. I own a Unity. I have looked at a Wonder. I've stepped in many Wonders. That was before the new chassis came out. Um, and so I definitely chose, obviously, the Unity. I love my Unity. I love the diesel engine. I love the slide outs. I love many of the things that the Unity offers that the Wonder doesn't. And so that is my choice. Now then, put in the comments below what your choice is. Hopefully you've watched both videos. If you want to see that other video, I will link it right there. Um, and so you can see why I said the Unity is better than the Wonder. In this video, obviously, why the Wonder is better than the Unity. But if you, this is your first time on the channel or if you have not subscribed yet, do so. Hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a couple of Fonzies, right? A couple of thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm trying to grow this channel to reach more leisure travel van owners and people looking at leisure travel vans and just really spread the word about how great that leisure travel vans are and RVing in general, right? I mean, RVing is just a fantastic way to get out especially in times like this. Oh my gosh, it is fantastic to get out of the city. I live in Dallas. And so, yeah, I want out of the city every once in a while so we just escape in our leader travel van. But that is it for this week. We will see you next week and look forward to seeing you then. Make sure you subscribe.